So you're a seller and you're under contract and you have seven days left. It's the last week. Stay tuned and learn all that you need to know in the top five things you need to remember. Hi, this is Joy Larson with the Joy Team in the Keller Williams Greater Cleveland Market. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're talking about you sellers. You have one week left and then you have sold your house. We are so glad you are under contract and you're in that final week and it's going to be a flurry of activity. So make sure to stay close to your realtor during this time as well as take some of these tips as reminders. And the first thing I want you to remember is don't worry, don't panic one step at a time and you will get it done and in a month or two you're going to look back and say phew i am so glad that is done and woo you are now to your next destination let's start with the first thing to keep in mind the first thing i want you to keep in mind is make sure to call the utility company so in the contract is the date of possession that the buyer will come and move into your home. So the date of possession is the date you will call the utility companies and have it transferred out of your name for that date of possession. I recommend calling this first day of that week, like probably five, six, seven days before closing, but keep in mind, sometimes that date may change. So you just have to be flexible. You may need to call them back and say, you know what, we need to delay it by a couple days or a week potentially if things do get delayed, because I do have to say delays may happen. Not all the time, but when they do, it's so frustrating. I know, don't worry, it will all work out. So utilities is number one. Number two, cleaning. You should be cleaning your house for the date of possession that the buyers have. So do not wait until the very final day to be cleaning everything out because you've been living there for a long time. Some of you have been living there for 20 years, right? So you're gonna have a lot of cleaning potentially to do. Some people hire cleaning companies so that they don't have it. Other people, you can hire friends or family to come in or hire them with food, sometimes that helps, or have your family do it. So just keep in mind, you will want it broom swept condition. So there should not be anything left in the house. So do not leave the couch. Somebody said, but they might want that couch. Well, that couch had a dog living on it for 10 years. I don't think the buyers are gonna want that. So you gotta keep that all in mind. If there is something you might wanna leave while you're cleaning, you need to ask your agent if it's okay that you leave it there. You can't just leave it and expect the buyers to deal with it because they might have you pay to move it out and that gets expensive. All right, number three, you do have to keep in mind about the walkthrough. Now the walkthrough happens between one and three days before closing. The buyer is going to go into your home. You're going to leave. They do not want you there during this time. The agent will be there and the buyer will be there as well. And usually it takes less than an hour. Just plan on an hour and they're going to make sure that all the inspection contingencies got done. So if there was something that you needed to fix, you need to have it fixed by now. Make sure to leave any receipts there or have emailed your agent the receipts because some of those things in the attic, they're not going to go up to the attic potentially and they want proof that it got done, okay? So that needs to be completed by that time. The walkthrough is one hour and after that, whew, you don't have any more people in until the keys are turned over. Number four, the moving companies. All right, so you need to be out of the house by the date that it states in the contract. Once that date is done, you need to be out of the house. You need to make sure to have your movers starting to be packing and out by that date that it says date of possession. So make sure you have that completed because that's where it gets a little hairy if you haven't prepped enough. 
Make sure that you have enough pods. Pods are a good thing. But anyway, we're here to help you. You can text us and we can give you ideas on just being ready for that. All right, last one, number five, the title company. The title company will be making sure to have your mortgage paid off. They will have all of that dispersed, making sure you have paid your HOA, make sure that all of the taxes have been paid up to date. So they will take care of all of that then they will wire the money the day of closing. Within 24 hours, it'll show up in your account. Sometimes over the weekend, depending on the banks, it may take 48 hours, but you will get your funds about then. You will get a call from the title company to schedule signing. You can actually sign at the title company or they can come to your house, they can come to Panera. Let's say you moved already and you're in California they can do a remote closer and you can sign paperwork in California, wherever you are. This is a dower state, so you will need to have both husband and wife there at signing as well. All right, those are just some tips, little tip of the iceberg, and we're here to help you with all of your questions. Feel free to text us, but you can ask your agent as well. We're here to help and congratulations, key day, um, where you can just give everything and lock up, which is sort of a sad but happy time. Just to let you know, sometimes sellers like to leave a little note for the new buyers and give a bottle of champagne or wine or a little gift. You don't need to, but that's just something that's a really nice touch to if you want to do that and then make sure to have all your remotes all your keys all of that on the counter all right guys have a great one and looking forward to helping you in your next home bye bye